I'm working on the prototype for the photo album chapter. It's going to be able to hold four by six photos. Um, so I've already drafted up the instructions for it, um, at least most of it. And I'm not quite sure about the measurements and how the process will go. So I am um, following my own instructions and seeing if they make sense. And um, and then I'm, I'm like tweaking and writing as I go. I've got my chapter drafts right here. The process of turning in the corners, I initially described it as squeezing the corner bits flat, which makes sense, right? But I think a more technically sound term is to tuck it in. So I think I'm going to change it to tuck in and um, maybe I'll keep bits. I kind of like that, corner bits. There's so many little decisions like this and I don't know all the technical terms and so I'm also researching as I go. I wanted to know how flexible the hinge would be um, depending on the spine gap. So I'm looking for the cover to open completely and the one with a 3 8 gap is definitely more flexible than the quarter one. So this is my prototype for the long stitch with wraparound cover. I found this wool fabric from um, a store at the fashion district and I'm really happy that it turned into a felt like material when I ironed um, heat and bond in between them. So far it's quite involved. I have to figure out how to um, finish the edges. I don't want it to be too complicated for people. Um, initially, I have this these bias tapes. It's my first time working with bias tape. I was gonna sew it on myself with this with a needle and thread, and um, actually write out the instructions in the book, but I picked up these products to see if I could find a no-sew method. So this is a seam sealant. I'm going to I'm going to test um, I have a little test piece here and then if people wanted to go the extra mile to use bias tape, I'm going to try these iron-on tapes to see if I could still achieve a nice finish without sewing. So doing all of this is not necessary. I could have just um, created the project with craft felt, but I really wanted to try this out because I had a vision for it and I wanted to offer more ideas and um, just see what people come up with.
I'm taking a mental health day today. I just feel really low. Um, I've been working really hard and, you know, it really does feel like a marathon and I'm feeling the fatigue of being really deep into writing. I'm going to go to um, the fabric store and um, the paper store, which uh, sound exciting to me, and I think it's going to lift my spirits. Um, this is actually for the book because I need to um, find fabrics for um, book cloth, and I need to make them all um, match, and so each project is going to have its own um, colors and maybe even theme i'm not sure yet but i'm gonna go so that i can touch and feel things in person so that turned out to be a fail it was really beautiful in there but also too overwhelming for me and the staff didn't seem like they wanted to help me so I just got this um, ribbon, velvet ribbon, to use for um, the tape bindings, but I'm gonna um, see if there's another fabric store I can go to. Check out these papers I got from Hiromi yesterday. So they've got a nice thick weight and I'm definitely going to use them as a cover material for a book project. Um, so they are called cave paper handmade in Arizona and majority of these papers are made of the finest Belgian flax. I'm feeling ready to tackle the rest of the projects this week. This is the week when I'm going to try to finish testing and editing all 12 projects. I still have about half of the book to write, but it's the projects that are really making me sweat. I just wanna make sure that the instructions are very clear and accessible. It's also, of course, the most involved because I have to take 
step-by-step um, -step photos as well. So the other half of the book is more descriptive and um, more tips and tricks, less uh, follow along on these steps. So I'm feeling okay about those. I have a little less than a month left. Um, yes, I'm feeling ready. Let's do it. I finally figured out how I wanted to make the um, binding on cloth tapes and um, this was giving me the most trouble just because I wanted to follow a tutorial um, online and credit them of course but it would the tapes would wrap around over top and then it would attach on the inside. I just have so much trouble cutting into book board that I don't think a beginner would enjoy that process and might get frustrated by it. So I decided to attach it on the inside instead. I've also finished testing the three piece bridal binding and um, I am pretty happy with it. So I still need to make the text block for case binding and um, the rounded spine book. I actually need to test sewn boards binding as well. Um, I, I wanted to make this to refresh my memory and then I wrote the instructions so I have to make another one to um, test the instructions that I wrote. Lucy, are you ready? Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. You want to go for a walk? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, I have been writing all day and this is probably the first day in three months where I feel like I could write and write. Um, I think it's because it's a lot easier to share information that I already know um, from my experience versus writing instructions, which is um, very technical and um, I have to think about like how everyone will interpret the words. So I get to just speak in my own words and um, yeah, write, write as if I'm talking to a friend. Um, and I think it, that's been more enjoyable as a process. Um, my manuscript is due in less than three weeks and in the last week when I realized there was a month left, I was pretty panicky and just had to do a lot of um, self-talk and, and give myself a lot of pep talks that I can do it. Um, I think there's just this consistent fear that 
I don't know enough about bookbinding or, you know, I'm not qualified enough to teach. And, you know, even if I don't know everything, I know a lot and I know enough to um, support others through learning and like practicing the craft and yeah, being able to, you know, even get to a point where they can find their own style and kind of lift off and, and do it themselves, you know? So, um, yeah, it's been um, a big emotional process as well. So, I'm feeling pretty confident now. Um, I have I have moments of like naive optimism and then like real confidence and then it's fear so I'm kind of all over the place but at least I'm not feeling blocked with writing which is awesome um, and I'm starting to get excited about photography um, even though it's overwhelming because I have to order everything in in time for um, taking both step-by-step -step photos and beauty shots because um, my, my photos are due mid-April, I think. So things are trickling in slowly and I think I have most of everything. Um, Something I do need to make time for is to shop for props for the beauty shots. I made a mood board and I do want a little more um, layers and objects that match the aesthetic um, that are that like accompany the books. So I'll probably hit up a stationery store to find some um, papers or stickers or ephemera. But what has been fun is buying myself new supplies that I would have never bought. Well, I guess that's it for tonight. <laughs> My finger is nice and inky now. Um, this is why I test things so that I know that when I take fo um, photos for the book, I should use gloves because my hands are gonna be in a lot of the photos and um, they need to not be inky. These are my blue light glasses because I've been staring at my screen every day for the last few weeks and mm, 
it is the last day before my manuscript is due and uh, I had to tell my editor that I I uh, can't get everything in on time. Um, I totally underestimated how long the editing process would take. Uh, I think just going through this the first time, I'm learning so much about how long writing takes and um, yeah, how, how to manage my time better. But uh, can't reverse time now, so I'm going to submit everything up to the projects. So the tools, materials, techniques, and then all 12 projects. Hopefully, I have uh, 10 edited right now. And then I will submit the rest of the book, finishing touches, how to design your own book. Um, what else is there? Troubleshooting common mistakes, um, upgrading your toolbox, and then all the back matter the following week. I'll submit it the following week. Um, so that that's more manageable, but it does cut into the time I have to take all my step-by-step -step and duty shot photos. Um, so I am a little bit nervous about the next month. I was really hoping that April would be um, a bit of a relief and I'll have more time to just play around, make books, take pictures. Um, but it might be um, still as intense. At this point, I'm feeling pretty out of touch from my body, from my environment, from my sense of time. I've just got this to write and edit and complete. Um, so I feel oddly calm as I'm, as I'm talking like definitely like feelings are coming up, but uh, yeah, I'll have like spurts of feeling quite delirious. I'll like feel like I need to um, laugh and cry at the same time. So, so I guess this is what writing a book feels like. Elliot spent the day yesterday helping me edit a good chunk of the um, tools, materials, and techniques. So I'm gonna go through that now and probably spend most of the day on it. And then we'll see if I have time left over to finish off the projects. But whatever I get done tonight will be submitted to my editor. It's just past 1 a.m. and I submitted the manuscript, uh, at least most of it. I'm going to spend this next week finishing it up, but it was a huge feat to polish it off tonight, so I'm excited to go to bed.
a close Super Bowl, probably. Hello, it's been a while. Um, I am doing my nails because I want them to look pretty for the step-by-step -step photos. The challenge is that bookbinding and painted nails just don't really go together. I've had to wash my hands a lot and um, keep my hands moisturized. Um, and I'm just not very good at maintaining painted nails in general. So it's just required um, more time than I expected. But it's been fun because painting nails is um, relaxing. In terms of the step-by-step -step photos, I am almost done. I've completed 10 out of the 12 projects and I'm happy with how they turned out. Understanding camera settings for photo and um, lighting my studio has been tricky. Um, so I'm really grateful for Elliot for helping me out with that. Um, for certain things where I've needed both hands to be holding on to the thing, I've had to like call him over to, to help me press the button and focus. Um, so yeah, but most of it I have managed to do myself. I have my laptop here because my editor sent me the manuscript back. Um, I submitted it I think two weeks ago, two editors have looked at it since. Um, and I am surprised because I barely got any notes back. Um, well, I mean, I got a lot of great notes back, um, a lot of great feedback. And so I'm very relieved that I don't have to put in a bunch more time into it. And sometimes it just takes like space to revisit it and reread it to see that like, okay, I actually did fine. Like it, it, it makes sense. It's clear. Like I actually put a lot of effort 
into it and it shows. So I'm, I'm really glad that a professional editor approved of most of my writing. I don't have to change very much. Um, as I'm going through the step-by-step -step photos, there are a couple things that I wanted to tweak. I might need to cut down um, to fit the page count of the printed book. So uh, I have yet to hear back from the editor in terms of whether or not I need to do that. I'm working with a photographer, a professional photographer, who's coming over um, at the end of the month in less than a week now to help me with beauty shots. And I thought that each beauty shot would look best if there was more than one photo or more than one book in it. So after the step-by-step -step photos are done, I'm gonna make all the extra books that will go in the beauty shots. And so these beauty shots will be the, I guess the cover photos for each project. And I want the photos to look beautiful and for readers to feel really excited to try it out. I'm so close to finishing my part of creating the content. I'm so excited. Writing this book has been such a joy and a real dream come true. I'm so excited to share what I created with you all. It's been such a wild ride and I'm really proud of um, the result. I think the book looks beautiful. The design team did such a good job with it. And I'm really in love with the photography as well. I'm so glad I documented this process so that I can share it and look back at this time. The book is called Handmade Books at Home and it's now ready for pre-order. It's coming out on December 5th in the US and Canada, 68 weeks later for the rest of the world because of international distribution. And you can go to my website for all the retailer links. If you pre-order, I'm going to send you all a bonus ebook that's going to include um, finding your style with finishing touches, um, upgrading your toolbox, and a little bit more bookbinding terminology so that you can refer to it um, as you're following along. This is the book that I wish I had when I was a beginner bookbinder, and I wrote this book with all your comments and questions in mind. From now until December, I'll be teasing little parts of the book and sharing more about it. So to get updates, make sure you're following me here on YouTube. Um, you can sign up for my newsletter and I'll be sharing on Instagram and TikTok as well. Thank you for being here and I'll see you later.